So today I thought I would do a review on the waterproof socks that I got for the Sierras. These Shower Pass waterproof socks. I'll show them to you here. These are uh, the these are the lightweight cross point waterproof socks. They weigh three point five ounces. Uh, they come in a variety of colors. I just got the gray and black, but they also have them in like a neon yellow and I think a neon pink and green. So these run about, I, don't, I think they were about $37, somewhere around there, $37, $38. And just feeling them, they feel like a neoprene almost. They're kind of thick. The, they're soft though, they almost feel like regular socks, but they do have kind of a, they're a little bit thicker, so they kind of have a little bit of a neoprene feel to them. So going to the website at Shower Pass, Shower Pass makes a number of uh, different waterproof uh, products. This is the first one that I've ever bought from them. Uh, and what it says is it's a, a three layer waterproof uh, sock. The outside layer is a water resistant, kind of a knit exterior. And then the uh, middle layer is a waterproof, breathable Artex membrane. And then the liner <clears throat> that's next to your foot is a Colmax FX moisture wicking antibacterial liner. Uh, so they claim that the socks are 100% waterproof. Um, and that they're comfortable enough uh, to wear all day. They help, the liner helps keep your feet from being sweaty. It does have a reinforced heel and toe. Should be comfortable and durable. I did try these on this morning with my uh, new Ultra uh, Lone Peak 4.0s and they do fit. They're a little bit tighter fitting then my darn tough socks because these are definitely thicker but they do fit so I would say if you're planning on getting these just make sure that your shoes are definitely roomy enough to be able to take a, a thicker sock all right so what I'm going to do today is just test these socks out to see how waterproof they are so I have a bucket of water here I'll show you I first would like to just test them to see if they're going to keep my feet dry as if I'm walking in snow or, you know, through puddles or it's raining throughout the day, if they're going to keep my feet dry. And then the second test, I'd like to actually submerge them on my foot to kind of demonstrate what it would be like uh, if I'm doing river crossings, because most likely if I'm doing a river crossing, a lot of rivers are probably going to be up over my calf level and so I want to know if the water comes up past the the top of the socks whether they're still going to keep my my feet dry doing river crossings so my plan with these water socks the main thing I the main reason I got them is I've watched a lot of different videos on people going through the Sierras and even Washington even places in the desert a lot of times they're waking up and their shoes are frozen and cold and wet. In the, even if you put dry socks on, you know, you're, you're still putting your foot into a, a cold, frozen, wet shoe. And then um, it's going to soak into your socks and then your feet are wet, you know, for at least a good portion of the day. Which it makes it harder to keep up good foot health. If you're walking around in, uh, with soggy feet all day, you're definitely more prone to blisters. Your feet get softer, you know, and um, or cracking or foot fungus. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong with having wet feet all day. So if uh, there's a way to keep my feet dry and comfortable, I think it's worth the extra weight and the extra money to try something you know that might make that more comfortable for me so I am first gonna just submerge my foot so I'm gonna put sock on and then submerge my foot into this bucket partially way down 
and see how it goes. All right, so I have my foot in this sock. These fit pretty snug on me. Um, that's great. These are a small to medium. All right, so I am going to submerge that. this into the bucket. And I am just going to keep it down a little over ankle, ankle height. And, um, yeah, it doesn't even feel like my foot is in water. That's so weird. And keep them in here. I'm just going to keep it in here for a few minutes and um, and then I'll come back to you here. Just give it some time to see if the water seeps in. So far I don't feel anything though. Um, I've used warm water. I'm sure if it's cold water your foot's going to still feel cold but I definitely do not feel any water leaking into the sock at all. So it's completely like I'm not even in water. Okay, all right, so I'm ready to um, take my foot out of here. I've had it in here, I don't know, about five minutes. Um, you can see it's wet and dripping on the outside. And uh, I'm just going to set it down here. And I'll take my sock off and we'll see if it's dry. sock off after it being submerged up to the top of my ankle and uh, my feet are dry. I don't feel any water seepage at all. Okay so the next, the next I'm going to put the sock back on and then I will submerge it um, up to up over the top of the sock. If as I'm feeling the inside, I just put my hand inside the sock to feel it, see if it feels wet at all. Um, I don't feel anything. That's pretty good. So it's going back on. And this time, I'm going to I don't know if I have enough water in here. I might have to push the sock down a little bit, but I'm going to submerge it. Okay, here we go. So this time I'm going to push it down a little bit because I don't have quite enough water in there. But I don't know if you can see, but I have the water up over the top of the sock. I'm going to just kind of splash my foot around. Turn over on the side there. It's a little bit deeper now. Uh, so this is kind of to demonstrate what it would be like doing a, <clears throat> a river crossing. And... Really curious to see if it will keep it dry or if it will seep in the top. And if it does, if it goes, you know, it will go all the way down to um, inside the sock. I just pulled it up a little bit more and I'm submerging it. Kind of feels like I got some water inside it, but it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if it's just cold. Um, the way I had it rolled down, I think it definitely could have went in through the, the top and go down my, through my ankle. All right, so I'm gonna pull it out again. Okay, so I've got it back out again. Um, I feel like there's water on the inside. There is this time. Um, Definitely down around the ankle. 
Oh, you probably can't see the water, but it definitely is wet. Um, and it felt like it was going down the inside of my, my sock. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's definitely, my foot is wet. Um, I can't count on it keeping my feet dry through um, higher river crossings. But definitely, I think it'll be useful for keeping my feet dry from my just, you know, walking through snow and um, shallow creek crossings, kind of things that doesn't go up over uh, my calf. So, all right, so I hope this was helpful. And if you've been uh, trying to make a decision on whether to get waterproof socks, you know, I, I hope this uh, helps you make that decision. I'm really not disappointed. I didn't really expect them to be able to to keep out the water from going in the top. And I did have them pushed down. They were up tighter. I might have kept them a little bit drier than I had shoved them down. So there definitely was some gaps. I do think even if they do get wet in a river crossing with the kind of material they are, I feel like my feet would still be warmer than a regular sock. It would be helpful in putting on, even if it's for the morning, when you're putting your foot in a frozen shoe, you know, and maybe the shoe's still wet, you know, whatever, and, and, um, and you don't want to put another dry sock on and just have it soak through your sock and be wet all day. So for that, I think it's going to be helpful. Uh, we'll give them a try. Um, when I get to the Sierras, and then um, if I don't find that they're really helpful, uh, or they're not worth the weight I'm carrying, then I will send them home. All right, if you um, enjoy watching my videos and would like to see more and would like to support my journey on the PCT 2019, uh, please visit my Patreon account. I also have a GoFundMe account. Uh, I will put to the link to these uh, waterproof socks at, in the description section underneath my video. Uh, you can order them directly through Amazon. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will talk to you soon.